Okay guys, um, it's the part 2 of the video that I already started, so running effects across the RGB or LED, LED buttons and I'll, now I will show you how to run the simple pixel mapper on the top of the, well, the, simp the actual pixel mapper on the top of the RGB fixtures and what options you've got. Cool, okay, so first of all what you need to learn is um, when it comes to the pixel mapper, uh, when you're running something uh, as a pixel mapper runs using its own RGB engine. So what it means is if you'll select your fixtures, press add effect, go pixel mapper and let's say you're gonna choose um, the just simple uh, vertical line. It's gonna tell you on what attribute you want to run, you press RGB and you see nothing. Why you see nothing? Because um, pixel mapper requires a dimming. At the moment, the fixtures do not have dimming on. So what that means is, that means they you cannot see anything. So if you don't believe me, I will actually show you where it is. So if you select it and you press Add Full, you will see that it's all on. But now, remove the color. Remove the color from the fixtures and you will be able to see the effect is running. So what that means is, that means before you apply for anything, you apply any pixel mapper effect, I would always suggest you to do following. Select your fixture, go in your color, make all your color parameters to be at zero and set at full. So you set your intensity on, press record and make your playback. So now when we run this effect, if you select here and you press add effect, pixel mapper, line vertical, running on RGB, and you can see your effect is running. Nice, yeah? Okay, so what you can do as well is you can actually also change the direction. You can also do centering direction. So you've got, it's called bounce center, and you can do the bounce effect. Okay? so. Uh, what we can do next is, uh, uh, what we can do as well is following. You can also do this. So if you remove effects, I can press add effect, pixel map, and then for example, I can do the square on RGB fixtures, and you can see your nice effect is running across your, all your fixtures. You can do also another one. You can press add effect, uh, pixel map. You can do the rotation line. You can actually change the, the width of the rotation line as well. So you can see something like that. You can change the direction. You can try to do something like uh, not centering. Centering is not applicable to this. You can do backwards direction. And um, yeah, so you can play with this. If you want uh, to set a different background, you can actually press, for example, red color and you can see you have a nice background. So when you apply a color, the color is actually applicable not to the pixel mapper itself, but to the background. So you can actually create nice pixel mapping effects really, really quickly. Okay, so this is the using the simple pixel mapper and you've got obviously a few other options um, Ah, I always uh, I forgot to say I, I I showed you how to create a playback with the uh, with the uh, like sort of no colors, but at the same time I would always suggest you to create a palette because then you can easily update the palette and that's gonna work for you. You can press record here, so anytime you need you can always like a blackout color for the LEDs. So again you can play with um, with a pixel mapping. You can do something again like that a pixel mapper. You can do for example rainbow horizontal on the RGB. You have nice effect and you can also do effect something like that. So again it's fairly fairly simple to run this. You can record that and it's going to be recorded as a normal effect. So the last thing I will show you here is how to add the pixel mapping on them and work with them. So to do the pixel mapping, you select your fixtures, you press view grid. Then, the, as I told you in a different video, group grid applies to the, uh, to the simple pixel map. If you want to run the full pixel map, you have to use the encoder A, rotated counterclockwise to get to the grids, where it says grid, for example, grid one in this case. You press... Um, set grid size so horizontally i have 20 pixels by 10 so 20 slash 10 
Now what I do is I select my the first slot, I press insert head, duplicate elements horizontal and left to right. So it's all filled up and now you press patch pix map and you say yes add it and you can add for example one layer or two layers so you can use one layer for the background one layer for the effect but again up to you in my case I'll just use one layer and press enter so now it has created a bitmap uh, file for me as well so it patched it for me so now what I do is this I select my fixtures again use the playback that you already have uh, that you already have for the uh, with the no color and intensity on and so I'm still running it then you go to the media window select pixel mapper layer 1 and press intensity at full you will be able to see straight away the pattern running you can press uh, in the media you can press none then you go to the effects and then for example you can run following so if you run say vertical line you can select your speed control make it slower if you want to change the color of the pixel mapper you can always go to the color and using the encoders uh, red green blue you can actually change the color the don't forget the the color uh, the pixel mapper currently runs on three colors so it's a rgb then uh, you can do following for example you can run the different directions so you can do the uh, normal mix you can change the type of the how the effect is applied you can do something like this yeah, like a twin, uh, we call it centering. You can do the bound, uh, centering twin mix. You can do the bounce effect. Or, for example, you can also play with the, when you've got something like a bounce effect, you can also use the offset button here. So, for example, you can press here and you've got some nice effect going across your fixtures. You can see it's got nice, like sort of wavy thing. But if you, for example, apply uh, some other effects, let's say, um, let's say it's going to be um, uh, horizontal build, you can actually make an effect like that. You've got also different effects, let's say horizontal, horizontal effect. Again, this is the combination of uh, offset and also the, the effect, the, the, the bounce uh, mix. So you can actually change something here. So you see, you've got really nice, uh, like sort of um, unusual patterns that you can do with, uh, with the pixel mapper. So uh, what else you can do? Let's say we're going to go back to the uh, standard. Uh, we're going to go to the, uh, for example, uh, to the uh, normal then what you can do is you can actually play with the uh, vertical uh, rainbow horizontal rainbow you've got square you've got rotation line uh, you've got half rotation line you've got a uh, circle circle effect um, it, you can see it's not it's not reaching the top if you want to move this you can actually go to the position and you can move the uh, position of the effect a bit higher or you can change actual uh, uh, vertical size a bit bigger. Now, if you move the, it higher, you will be able to actually cover. Sorry, you will be able to cover actually all fixtures. Again, you can play around and you can see if you can find something useful for you. Uh, what I can suggest, for example, as well, if you want to have something like the effect is going from center out, this is how you can achieve it. it, it it's just a one of one of the obviously options that uh, you can play with. So if you go here and, for example, you apply, um, uh, okay, we're going to do horizontal rainbow, for example, something like that. You can actually change to the, uh, to the, to, to, to bounce yeah so it goes center out but now what you can do is you can actually go to the color and in the color you can change the mode to be uh, to be not GRB be, okay you can change the mode to be uh, following um, sorry black and white so what you do is you keep the red on for example something like this 
or you can keep just the one color on and you have a nice effect that goes across your fixtures you can actually make it 100% uh, 50, uh, 100% sorry this to be at zero and you can see you have a nice like a white color effect goes around but if you don't want white you just actually want to have a red going out then what you do is you go back you you make uh, you can actually change the color mode to be let's say red and this is you have your effect going just in red color you can change to green you can change to blue and you can save them as you will find pleased and record them and run them across all your fixtures but um, and probably one more effect I will show you which I found quite quite nice and it's like a sort of like equalizer uh, it's basically you can run an effect um, okay let me remember um, I think you can do it this way so if you run with a basic pixel map um, um, no, yeah I think was it here I think if you add effects pixel mapper and then you say uh, build horizontally on the RGB so you see your fixtures are going from left to right so it's like like equalize all the channels going up together but then what you do is this you basically change the parts you change like that uh -huh. So you can see that actually you've got them now uh, with the, the parts and then what you do you actually go here and say for example bounce and you've got them like going like equalizer or well, something like something like that. So you can actually play with this find something useful for yourself and uh, apply them on your shows and we just uh, we just want to see more and more people using this. So hopefully that I have answered most of your questions. If you have anything else, feel free to ask. Thank you very much and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.